relation between K A and K B. Ionization constant for weak acid and weak base. We will take an example of ammonia as a weak base and ammonium ion as a acid. So first of all, if we dissolve this ammonium ion in water, then it will produce ammonia because ammonium ion has one H plus to donate. Therefore, it is acting as acid, and this H plus is accepted by water, so it is acting as a base. So it will be converted into H3O plus. For this reaction, if we write equilibrium constant Kc, it will be concentration of ammonia, concentration of H3O plus upon concentration of ammonium ion and concentration of water. As we know that concentration of water remains constant, so it will be multiplied with this constant, then it will become a newer constant, which is the ionization constant of this acid, Ka. So Ka for ammonium ion is concentration of NH3 and H3O plus upon NH4 plus we will call this equation as 1. This reaction is numbered as reaction 1. Now, the value for Ka of ammonium ion is Ka for ammonium ion is 5.6 into 10 raise 2 minus 10 5.6 into 10 raise 2 minus 10. This is the value of Ka for ammonium. Now we are going to write another reaction in which ammonia is dissolved in water. That means a base dissolved in water. Ammonia dissolved in water. In this case, nitrogen is having a lone pair, so it is able to accept a proton from water. So it will produce NH4 plus ammonia accepting H plus, therefore it is considered as base. In this case, water is donating proton, so it is acid. And the water is converted into OH minus. Now, for this reaction, we will number this reaction as number 2. If we write Kc, then Kc is concentration of ammonium ion, concentration of OH minus ion upon concentration of ammonia as well as water. Again, concentration of water being constant can be multiplied with this constant, so it will form a new constant which is the ionization constant for this base, so it is Kb. Kb is concentration of NH4 plus into OH minus upon concentration of ammonia. But the value for Kb for ammonia is 1.8 into 10 raise 2 minus 5. So Kb is 1.8 into 10 raise 2 minus 5. Now we have these two different chemical reactions and if we add both this reaction then we can have a new reaction. Suppose Adding equation 1 and 2 NH4 plus plus H2O It will give NH3 plus H3O plus And equation 2 is NH3 plus H2O NH4 plus plus OH minus as we know that if the substances same substances on both sides will be cancelled so both these ammonium ion are same so they are cancelled both ammonia molecules are also cancelled 
So all we have left is only H2O plus H2O and H3O plus and OH minus. So by using these two chemical reactions, now we have another chemical reaction in which two water molecules are ionized. So if we write ionization constant of this equation, Kc is equal to concentration of H3O plus and OH minus upon H2O and again H2O. Concentration of water being constant will multiply with this Kc, it will form a new constant which is KW ionization product of water is H3O plus and OH minus. So by adding these two reactions, we have this third reaction and its constant is KW. It means if we multiply both these equilibrium constants or ionization constant, we can have the value of KW also. So, by adding two different chemical reactions, we have third chemical reaction which is the ionization of water. So, the Ka for this reaction and Kb for this reaction, if they are multiplied, then it will give us the value of Kw also. So, multiplying equation 1 with equation 2, that means Ka multiplied by Kb. So, Ka is ammonia multiplied by H3O plus concentration upon concentration of NH4 plus and Kb is concentration of ammonium ion concentration of OH minus ion upon concentration of ammonia. Now in this equation this ammonia from this numerator and this denominator will be cancelled. There is ammonium ion and there is again ammonium ion. Both these will be cancelled also. So all we have left is only H3O plus concentration and concentration of OH minus. This represents KW. Concentration of H3O plus and concentration of OH minus is KW. And this KW is actually the product of Ka and Kb. So this is the relation between Ka and Kb and Kw. From this we can say that ionization constant of weak acid and ionization constant of its conjugate base, if they multiply then they will always give the value of Kw. And we know that at 298 Kelvin, the value of Kw is constant, which is 1.0 into 10 raised to minus 14. So we can say that ionization constant of weak acid multiplied by ionization constant of weak base will be 1.0 into 10 raised to minus 14. Let us check the value of Ka is 5.6 into 10 raised to minus 10 5.6 into 10 raised to minus 10 multiplied by Kb is 1.8 multiplied by 10 raised to minus 5 now multiply 5.6 with 1.8 10.08 multiplied by 10 raised to minus 15 if we move this decimal point towards left then it will become 1.008 into 10 raised to minus 14 which is called 1 into 10 raised to minus 14 which is the value of KW. 
So this relation states that the ionization product Kw, ionization product of water is always equal to the product of Ka and Kb. But this relation can apply only when we are talking about an acid and its conjugate base or a base and its conjugate acid. Ka for any acid and Kb for its conjugate base. If we multiply these values, then we can have Kw. But if you use Ka for any acid and Kb for any other acid, then this relation will not give the value of Kw. Understood?